There's a great new addition to Filmora 13 and it's called Drawing Tools. If you haven't got Filmora version 13.2, you can download it from the link in the description below. Drawing Tools is a great addition and a great feature. It's so versatile, it's easy to use and it can be used in so many different ways. Let me show you how. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. Now if you can't see the icon here, there's two reasons. One, you haven't got the latest version of Filmora, in which case you can download it and the link is in the description below, or it may not just be shown on the toolbar, in which case click on the left four little squares here to customize your toolbar. Look for drawing tools and there it is and then drag and drop it onto your toolbar. Once you've done that click save and the icon should show there. Okay, let's look at the basics. Let's click on that and you can see rectangle. And this allows you to draw a rectangle on your window. From here, you can change the size of it simply by dragging the corners as normal. You can rotate it. But you can do other options in the property windows. So again, you can just transform one side. You can change the position from left and right and up and down. You can rotate it. You can do this to all the shapes that I'm going to show you. You can change the corner radius. You can change the fill colors. And there are plenty of options in there for you to change the shape. Okay, let's just move that one up there. The second one is arrow. We just draw an arrow on the screen. All the options can be changed within the properties panel again, or by using the actual drag bars on the screen and there's another little option here a little yellow box if you can see that and if you drag that that changes the actual arrow head as well so that's the second one the third one is ellipse which is obviously an oval or a circle so if you just start drawing on your screen you'll get either an oval or an ellipse and trying to get a circle is quite difficult there is another way of doing it if you hold a shift key on your keyboard while you click and drag you get a perfect circle. Obviously, all the options are available there to change all the colors, etc. Let's look at the last one, which is triangle. And that simply draws a triangle. You can do it small, wide, thin, tall, and the options are available once again within the properties panel. Any one of these images can then be further enhanced by choosing an animation style. So for example, let's click on a triangle and we shall fade in on the triangle. Let's drag that onto the timeline. So now the triangle fades in. Let's use the circle and we'll change that animation to pause. So place that on the timeline. I'm just moving the points to the very beginning so they start off straight away. And you can do animations on all of the individual shapes as you want. You've also got an option to choose preset motions, which is the legacy motions. So let's just use a rotation. So with this, with the preset motions, you just double click. Instead of dragging and dropping, you double click. And you can see there it gives you a preview as well. So there we go. And there we have three animations set up, all happening at the same time. So you can have individual animations on each individual shape, or you can have them all preset as well. I'm just going to get rid of all the animations, so we're back to the four individual shapes. Okay, so there's no animation on them at the moment. If we want to animate all of them at the same time, we can create a compound clip. Highlight all of them, right click, create compound clip, name it whatever you want. And now we have one clip that we can choose animation on that. Again, we have the options of preset animation or preset motions. Let's just try a preset motion and we shall use move to the left. I don't know why, just thought I'd choose that one. So double click and you can see they all move to the left. Now, I don't know why they've grown in size, but that's not a problem because it's a compound clip. We can click on it, go to basic and we scale everything down. So there we go. They're all animated now. Let's just clear that and let's see what else we can do with shapes. What I'm going to do first is draw a rectangle on screen. I'm then going to draw a triangle. And don't forget, if you hold a shift key, 
it'll keep a perfect triangle then make it about that size I'm going to change the color on that just to something simple for the purpose of this tutorial and I'm going to make that the width of the square so you can see we can put a shape within a shape now this looks a bit strange in the outside because the triangle has a border on it we can simply get rid of that by clicking on the triangle and disabling the border option we can do the same for the rectangle there we go so that looks better so we can place shapes on top of shapes so that they look like they're all part of the same shape and don't forget we can highlight right click and create a compound clip out of them as well should we need to edit all of them together so shapes can be really powerful they can be really useful and can be used for a lot of other things let's see what else we can create with the drawing tool I'm going to create our own lower third so I'm going to choose a rectangle to begin with about that long that's okay I'm going to change the fill color to a dark blue I'm going to remove the border I don't want a border on it and I'm going to change the corner radius and you can do that simply by increasing the corner radius values there also there's a little yellow box there you can use that it does exactly the same job okay I'm happy with that I'm now going to add some text above that I'll call that fun with Filmora I'll change the size of that I'll keep that font that font's not too bad and I'll drop that within the shape that we've created I'll change the color of the font to orange and I'll do okay okay so what we've got there is a lower third but we want to animate it we want to make it come in from the left or from underneath so let's create a compound clip out of it highlight both of them right click and create a compound clip call it whatever you want I'll call it lower third and now because we've got this one single clip we can now animate that so click on it let's go to animation don't forget we've got two lots of choices for animation preset or preset motions the legacy ones I'm going to choose the preset one and I want that to come in pause and then slide out so if I double click on that that will apply the animation there we go or we can just have it slide in and stay on screen so double click on that there we go or we could have it slide up that's quite nice and there we go we've created our own lower third let's delete that and let's see what else we can do with the drawing tool let's find a piece of stock media to begin with I'll use the bridge one and say we want to highlight something so for example there's a, a British flag up there say we want to highlight that flag you can't really see it very well in the image what you can do is now use the drawing tool let's go to here we can either use an arrow so I shall make an arrow I'll make the arrow head slightly smaller like that maybe a bit thinner you can rotate it from here move it into where that is and obviously change the color that's better there's a border there I can either change the border to black which will make it stand out a bit more or remove it completely I'll leave it on green and black at the moment looks quite nice we can also animate this I'll use a fade in there we go so that's quite a good feature so let me just delete that arrow so we can also use other shapes we could use a circle if we wanted to say we're doing a tutorial like I am now and I want to talk about that flag again I'll hold the shift key and I'll draw the perfect circle around the flag can't see it at the moment that's because it's got a color fill on it so if we remove the fill and we change the border thickness and maybe make that red let me choose a red color there click on OK and there we go we've got the flag highlighted drawing tools is a great addition to Filmora let me know how you're going to use it in the comments below and please don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell it really does help my channel and I really appreciate it as always thanks for watching now go have some fun